the month of July 1967, the civil war broke out in Nigeria. It did not end until January 1970. Military men during this period defended the unity of their fatherland. One of the compatriots that either the call of Nigeria is retired Major Rafael Owolabi, a community champion for today. My name is uh, Major Rafael Adeolu Owolabi. I originated from Yeshua Kiti. I schooled there, then moved to the east. I had my second education. Then I was working with a company when the war broke out. So because of my interest and commitment to my country, I resigned from my job and I joined the army. So I worked in the army by 1975. I was nominated and posted to the United States of America as a military uh, attache. I came back in 1980 and posted to various uh, 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 commands where I worked. And uh, by 1996, July, I retired voluntarily from the army. Having pledged to serve Nigeria with all his strength as a military officer, Major Wolabi's decision for community activism continues, a selfless service to his country. I moved to this community uh, in 1973. We have about, uh, about 12 streets in the, in the association. And in the CDA, we have about 34 streets. The success of this nation, whatever it is, it goes to the president. But the president doesn't go down himself to do things. I, as the chairman of the community, I have been directing affairs. I brought about uh, street lights, you know, to about, about 11 streets in this area, in the community. Then the there is a primary, the Akito Yeshogule um, primary school. Okay, they were having problems with the, uh, the toilets, toilets uh, children toilets and so on. So we went there and rebuilt the toilet, put all facilities there, and get the water uh, system running. So those are the things I have championed. Okay. Especially, the security is very, very important. I have championed the security of this area so much. Because in those days, this community was tanked black spot by the police. People hardly move about, but in the night, I will come out with my security officer. We come out, we go to the gate, monitor all activities. And um, the, the idea of um, house boggling, car snatching and stealing and so on was uh, eradicated. So that has been reduced to the barest minimum. According to him, a military man is a manager of men interested in the welfare of troops, serving his community with love, strength and faith over the years. Major Wolabi has touched the lives of the citizens in many ways. Some of his community members who spoke to Lagos Community Updates give their own testimonies. He have done a lot in, the, in our community, especially in lighting up the streets. And the securities have reduced. He used his position to make sure the communities are free from crimes. He has uh, played a better role in community leaderships. Major is by his training a committed leader. He is patient, he listens to everybody before taking his decisions. Major Olabi to me is um, 
a man that we want to emulate. Well, when we talk about security, it's something that gives even the country a concern. But he's been able to tackle the security aspect of this environment. And when it comes to social life, he's been able to bring everybody together because it's very difficult for families to stay together during festive period and after festive period. But he tried to make sure that everybody comes together and have a family gathering all of the time. And the youth are not left out in all of these things he does. And it made most of us who are not Legoshans feel at home when we stay in the environment with him. Major Olabi has been a very, very useful community leader. He has put in his best at age of 77. It's very rare, maybe because of his military background, to be up and doing. He has done so much for the community. For someone who has to share his precious time between his family and his love for the community, Major Wolabi is fortunate to enjoy the support of his wife and children. According to them, they make sacrifices to support his determination to serve with art and might. His wife is of the opinion that community activism is for strong and fearless minds. A lot of things that, especially dealing with the, the street boys, the malams, Clearing them is not an easy thing. You know, if you are not strong in mind, you won't be able to do that. You'll be afraid maybe they will come after you, they come and attack later. So these are the things that this generation may not really be able to face. I would say I'm used to it because I knew when he was a military man, he was never in Lagos. And he was always about all over Nigeria. So I'm used to that. He's a loving father as well, but the thing is, the, the chairmanship of, that they gave him for the CBA actually took most of his time, you know, because most times he's always out of meetings and, and the rest and settling issues. He's a street disciplinarian uh, with his military background. He's been able to enforce a lot of discipline in the neighborhood. We know it's um, what he needs to do. And you know, he's retired now, so all these things also help him to live long. I would like to take after him. Major Rafael Owolabi paints the picture of Lagos and acknowledges Governor Akimumi Ambo the selfless discharge of his duties to make Lagos a home for all. Governor Akimumi Ambo is a workaholic because he goes about not only you know, there are some governors that they are always going about in the flying Agbada here and there. Sometimes I see him in sheds, going, you know, places to inspect uh, projects and so on and so forth. So he's, he's a very uh, hardworking governor. 